Oh wow, this is really good. Really, really hot, but really good. I got my hair cut a couple days ago. It was kind of like up to here-ish before, and I wanted to go like just kind of below shoulder length. And last night, I started to look up ways to get like the heatless waves. Found a few tutorials, and one of them was for kind of my length of hair, which was great to see. And she left hers in overnight, and it gave her these really, really full defined curls. For me, I'm just going for like a natural wave. So I would say it's like 80, 90% air dried. I'm just using this leave-in spray. It's just a sample that I got from Sephora. Basically what she did was twist the hair around itself. Grab a section, twist it back. I feel like I'm doing this like all wrong. Okay, let's try that again. what she did here but I'm just gonna try like securing this part and then I have these like scrunchies like that okay it does feel very secure so we'll just go with that okay so that's what I got I have no idea if this is gonna work. If it turns out really wonky, I can just throw my hair back in a bun. I'm gonna leave my hair like this for about two hours until it's really, really dry. I will check back and unveil the results. My skin has kind of been going through it in the last couple weeks. This little guy, is kind of a dry, flaky, scabby spot. I will show you how I cover it as best as I can. So I actually just bought this infamous sunscreen, the Elta MD UV Clear uh, tinted version. And I started to use it because I found that when my skin is really sensitive, some sunscreens that worked fine for me last year are now kind of congesting my skin a little bit and are contributing to the clogged pores and the breakouts that I've been dealing with. So I splurged on this. It's very expensive for a sunscreen. It's like $65. And I just wanted to give it a go to see if it's as good as everyone says it is. I've been using it for the last week and so far I am liking it. It doesn't get shiny or thick feeling, it just stays really, really nice and sheer. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow to kind of even out my skin tone a little bit. Now on the spot, I didn't put too much of that e.l.f. on it. I just kind of went over it very lightly so that everything blends, but I'm not trying to cover up that spot quite yet. So the e.l.f. just gives me a really, really nice sheen luminosity all over my face. Next, I'm going in with a concealer. One of my favorites is the Rare Beauty Concealer. I have it in the shade 170W. Take the concealer on the tip of my brush like that and start stippling it on the center of my face and any larger areas of redness that I wanna cover. And I have a really small amount of product on the brush at all times. And this is just to give a very thin veil of coverage that I can build up and pinpoint later on. And I leave the concealer for now. This is a powder foundation, a mineral powder foundation from Jane Iredell. And I bought this because I heard it's really, really good for acne prone skin. And this is like the refill version um, that I just kind of used from that. I will take a fluffy brush like the BK Beauty 103, set that concealer, set the e.l.f. halo glow, bring down the shine a little bit, and then I apply it over that spot really lightly. And then this is kind of where it gets a little more interesting. I take a very, very small brush like this. This is the BK Beauty A502 brush. It's actually for your eyes, but I use it for pinpoint concealing. Um, I let it dry up just a little bit on the tip of that brush. And while that's going, I'll do my brows. This is the Merit Beauty Brow Gel in the shade Brown. I really love this brow gel because it's kind of like a one-stop shop for me. It gives me some volume, it gives me hold, and gives me almost like a laminated effect. And by this point, the product on the tip of this brush is a little bit more dry. Light layers I find works best for something like this. I start kind of stippling it on. I go in with that powder foundation again and do another very thin layer on top of that. 
So there it is now, concealed to the best of my abilities. You can still kind of see it, but it's much less noticeable than it was before. It's not red anymore. Moving on to blush, our favorite part. I'm using a cool tone blush shade today. It's the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Happy. Taking my BK Beauty A507 brush, getting the product on the tip there. And this is a tip I learned ages ago from somebody on YouTube. When you have a blemish or red spot or scab, or whatever, on kind of the lower part of your face, it's good to add more color and more drama to the top half of your face to kind of distract from that. Similarly, if you have like a pimple on your forehead or in between your brow, then it could help to do a bold lip or add more drama to that area to kind of distract. Since we're dealing with something on the lower half, I, you know, did the full brow. I'm gonna do a bright pink blush, fit on my forehead to bring everything together. And then on my lids, I'm gonna add a bit of a cool pink shimmery color using the Ilia Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint in the shade Aura. And it just adds a really, really nice sheen. They do have darker shades that I would love to try one day. I'm going to skip a highlight because we have a lot of glow going on. And for lips, I'm gonna keep things really natural so that I don't draw too much attention to that part of my face. This is like a lip balm, lipstick, lip gloss kind of hybrid. And it's in the shade Pillow Talk. And I have really been liking this product. It's a really nice, natural, neutral pink. The texture, my first reaction was like, oh, it feels kind of sticky, but I've kind of gotten used to it. If you've tried the Dior Lip Glow, like the stick formula, it kind of reminds me of that, but a bit thicker. So there is the final look. I'm kind of getting used to this twist now. I also wanted to show you this incredible lip set that I got at Sephora the other day. It comes with that full-size Charlotte Tilbury lip product as well as a full-size Rare Beauty lip liner in my favorite shade, which is fun. A mini NARS Laguna Afterglow lip balm, Clinique Black Honey mini, and a Laneige lip treatment mini. And it was only $28 or $36 Canadian, and I thought it was just a really good value, so had to share. I'm gonna take these little things out now. Got dressed. We're gonna leave in like 15 minutes. We're gonna take this side out first. Uh, we're not off to a good start because like what is happening? So going to shake this out. Oh, um, okay. I will take out this side now and then I'll have a final verdict. Take these out. Guys, I don't know about this. It's giving first try <laughs> and that's okay. I'll show you the back. I feel like this side looks okay. I guess we all have like a good side and a bad side when it comes to hair. Um, I do find it like easier to do the side, so maybe that's why. You know, I'm glad I tried it and I'm gonna keep experimenting throughout this week and once I find a technique and a style that works for me, I will report back and I'll do a video on it. You know, every time you try, you learn something new. So, put my hair back in a low bun and kind of just hide what's happening. <laughs> gonna pull out some front pieces. Thank you for watching this video. If you got this far, we are off to dinner soon, so I'll show you what we get up to.